Pechikuchi 267 how to draw manga getting started so this week's my second week talking about a how to draw manga tutorial book uh, this one is unlike the last one I spoke about it's actually been drawn by industry professionals in Japan and then it was translated for international release uh, how to draw manga is a series of books this is the first book called getting started they're not all created by the same teams but they're all published by the same uh, I think international publishing studio, so they have the same kind of, you know, the covers all look like they're part of the same collection. Uh, and effectively, this is aimed at beginners or children. And it starts at the start. What do you need to draw? Anything you can get your hands on. Uh, but here are the things that you should be aiming to end up with. And it gives uh, specific types of pens and papers and uh, drawing tools because this book is actually about physically creating manga as it predates the internet. It was written in the, the late 90s. Uh, it talks about what pens to use, what kind of line weight you get, which ones are better for curves, which ones are better for straight lines. And it also, unlike Manga Mania, is showing you action lines, which are one of the many quintessential elements that define manga as manga. It also talks about what paper sizes you should use, how to prepare new pens to make sure the ink comes out of them, um, and the, the production methodology of manga, the way that it's drawn big and, and you know shrunk for ease of publication and ease of reading. Um, also the paper the pages you actually draw on have kind of marks on them that determine where the paper will be cut for the printers and stuff like this. So this is very production orientated. It really wants you to understand what to do to be a professional mangaka or manga artist, including how to correct your mistakes uh, once you've inked them using whiteout, liquid whiteout, which is about as hands on as you can get. Um, one of the things about this book is if you're digi digitally oriented, you will find that there's a bit too much practical information in this book. But it also does offer, you know, tips and tricks on how to improve your copying other people's work to learn how to draw. Because ultimately, you have to draw stuff to learn how to draw stuff. You'll get it wrong, and, and this book aims to improve the quality of your art as well as your production methodology you know just things like you know have a mirror stand in front of it pull faces look at how your clothes look this is you know this is this book forms at least half of everything i learned as a kid about how to illustrate and uh i think it's very valuable in that regard it also talks about um, drawing manga characters in relation to their head size as a measuring tool for how big they are and how big body parts should be. I think this is a universal rule of figure drawing, both in the West and the East. I don't know of any other metric that's so valuable as using head size. Um, and changing the size and relationship of the head to the body is another key defining element of manga characters missing from the last book I spoke about. This book really is about people who know what they're talking about, talking about what they know about, so that you can know about it. And it's 120 pages of easy reading and easy learning. You know, it's a lot of hinting at things and suggesting tips, like how to tackle or how to think about tackling drawing characters in perspective. Um, and it really does benefit from being very straightforward in its application of, of statement and ease of language. It also has a chapter on screen tones, how you apply um, tonal and lighting value to a piece of manga and the actual application of screen tones, which are effectively like thin plastic shaded things and you have to physically stick them on to the, the paper you've been working on. And if you want to create special effects using them, you will have to actually cut the plastic up so that the light on the paper underneath shines through like i said sometimes this book can be too practical but if you are actually looking to do this on the cheap and have access to these kind of arts and crafts shops i don't know you'd probably have to import screen tones maybe this is the book for you it also talks about how to think about going about creating your story from scratch you know coming up with your characters the plot synopsis the way they interact the way they look 
This really is about how to go from zero to hero. Also, how do you want to script your books? Do you start with words? Do you start with thumbnails? There's a lot of different ways you can create your own Naruto or Dragon Ball Z story or whatever you want to do. And it really starts with you, a piece of paper, an idea, and just trying to make it work and then correcting it and fixing it as you go. Uh, the fact that they take the time out to talk about uh, panel size and the relationships of them and how much space there should be in between them. This is all practical information that can be applied directly to improve your, the quality of your work. Bloody lovely, right? And towards the end of the book, it talks about backgrounds. It does, in doing so, you know, start to explain the various types of perspective. There are one-point perspective, two-point perspective, and three-point perspective, but it's... Um, I don't think it's a difficult concept to grasp, but it's certainly an awkward one to apply. It is the, especially when it comes to cityscapes, this is where you're going to have to really just put the time in and get comfortable using reference and um, the application of, of, you know, vanishing points and, and horizon lines to, to end up with something that looks practical. So in summary, this is a truly excellent book for someone who just wants to draw cool stuff or kids, I would recommend this as a birthday present or a Christmas present. It's very materials focused. You can follow the information in this book with a startup budget of less than £10. Like, what does printer paper cost? What do mechanical pencils cost? You, you can literally get everything you need from your news agents or your local supermarket. Um, including maybe compasses and, uh, you know, templates for circles and stuff, depending on how big the supermarket is. Uh, it's full of practical, professional advice, um, industry standard measurement tools, and a, a workflow that you will probably, if you watch Mangaka Draw on YouTube, have already seen some elements of. Um, and this is clearly a book written by people and illustrated by people who can draw manga which is kind of important right you cannot learn from people who cannot teach the thing you wish to learn so it gets a pass on that this book like i said at the start is over 20 years old it predates the internet it's very obvious when they talk about reference images and don't mention google or any search engine because this book almost predates personal computers being in in normal people's homes uh, this is a pro anacon um, because it doesn't talk about things like photoshop or clip studio paint um, the materials and references you can get from that but also if you want to learn the way pretty much every illustrator in history has up until our generation follow what this book tells you get your references from magazines and books and encyclopedias uh, stay off the grid and then just post your work online that might be better for your your so your mental well-being uh, the thing to note as well is that this is an introductory book it can't dwell on any major point like anatomy or perspective for a great deal of time so while it's excellent as an overview and it will get you thinking the right way and making work if you have specific inquiries that require more investment in both knowledge and the application of that knowledge, well, they've got a whole library of books for you to pick up, but you'll have to go and get them. You can get this book online for free, but I would recommend you pay for it because it is of value. And that brings me to the end of my summary of How to Draw Manga Getting Started. I'm going to discuss the other book in the series I have next week, which is all about women, uh, which is going to go down well on YouTube. But that's the end of Petra Kucha 267, and I will see you there.